We're going to take a closer look at President Biden's warning to businesses here. The White House is warning that Russia could launch cyber attacks against the private sector. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino talked with businesses here in Connecticut. He is joining us live from our IT room with those details. Mike. Yes, and Mark and Aaron, one thing to keep in mind is that Russia's motivation would be different if they launched one of these attacks. Most people, of course, are worried about their own personal information, but experts say that Russian hackers would be looking to do something different. They want to instead be disruptive. So why is that important? Well, that sort of gives insight into some of the targets that Russia might be looking at. Energy companies, the financial sector, healthcare uh, companies, things that would be a problem for a lot of people if they were shut down, uh, things that would be very disruptive. Now, the White House did give tips to businesses on how to protect themselves. Those tips include uh, making sure that they secure their equipment and their information, using things like multi-factor authentication for employees who have remote access. They also suggest that companies educate their employees on the latest best practices and the latest risks. Meanwhile, companies here in Connecticut say that they've always been focusing on their cybersecurity even before this threat from Russia. We have a, a, an IT consultant that helps us out with all of our IT needs. And one of the things that they do is they run tests uh, on us. The spy agencies, they have run these attacks. They have well-established hacker gangs in Russia that are carrying them out. Now, while the fear is that Russia may target businesses that would be disruptive, experts say it's still a good idea to make sure that you are protecting yourself in case there is a breach. I'll have tips on how to do that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.